Nintendo's trending on Twitter. I wonder what that could be about. Kind of big Switch news, mate. Yeah, oh my gosh! That is insane! What? Donkey Kong 3 and Wrecking Crew on the way to Nintendo Online? That is huge! What a massive get for Nintendo. I'm expecting Switch sales to skyrocket with that kind of NES online goodness. Oh, well, to be fair, it's really not that cool at all. I'm not sure why that, of all things, got Nintendo trending on Twitter, unless it's not actually that. It's something else crazy, like a new Switch model or something. Oh my god! Now I'm not gonna say I told you so. Although, I definitely could say it. You know what? I'm gonna say it. I told you so. <laughs> Excuse me. So I woke up pretty early to the news that, uh, yeah, we're getting a new Switch model. It's a Switch Mini or a Switch Lite. I know y'all got really sick of me making videos about it. I've been making videos about new Switch revisions for like, it seems like two years at this point. It started with a Switch Pro, obviously pretty quickly went to a Switch Mini, and we've pretty much officially, unofficially known that we're getting a miniature version of the Switch sometime this year before Christmas. Not only because of places like Wall Street Journal, who apparently had a lot of people on the inside in regards to new Switch models, and I think it's safe to say it also gives legitimacy to the Pro model. But we talked about all of that in videos, as well as a bunch of other rumors and things that pointed towards a Mini. And then since my last video on this subject, there's been a ton more evidence that has come and gone. And I didn't talk about it because I said in my last video about the Mini, I would not make another video about this freaking rumor until Nintendo themselves came along and said, here's the freaking thing, here's when we're releasing it, and here's the price for it. But I bit my tongue and here we are, the thing is coming September 20th. We have a price point of $200, and I want to talk about the freaking thing, not only because I am obviously excited, but I want to highlight all of its features, the things that it has, and the things that are lacking, and also, I want to talk about all the freaking negativity. Like, can all of y'all just zip it and be happy for once? No one is ever happy anymore. Like, no company can do anything anymore without people being mad about it. It doesn't matter how cool the thing is, there's always going to be that group of people that just want to crap on it. And I do want to talk about that because I think a lot of Switch owners are very naively just looking at this thing and being like, I don't need this. This is garbage. Why is Nintendo doing this? Take this away, Nintendo. I already have a Switch. Yeah, that's cool. For you. You already have a Switch, so you don't need to go out and buy another one that's lacking features that yours has. <gasps> Duh, doy. That's obvious. But there are loads of people out there without a Switch. And now they're eyeing down this $200 Switch model, which is much more affordable to them. Maybe they still have their 3DS and they're looking to upgrade from that and they don't want to play games on their TV. Maybe they, they have a freaking CRTV from the 80s and they just want to play handheld portable games for a couple hundred bucks and motion controls annoy them. Well, this is perfect. I have more ramblings of this nature, so I'm just going to shut up and uh, kick off into it. To start with, I want to say that the announcement was a little underwhelming. And it's not in any way Nintendo's fault, it's just, again, we've been talking about this for like two years. There's been so many leaks of this thing, and one of them ended up being correct. A leak that we saw months ago at this point was the actual Switch Lite model. And nobody took it seriously because there were so many different leaks, people making 3D mock-up prints of this Switch thing just to get clicks on their website blogs or whatever. It was hard to actually pinpoint which one could be the one, but this one to me, the real leak, it always did look like a very real possibility. Because through all the Switch Mini rumors, a ton of us creators obviously made our videos about what we would actually want from a Mini, or we would expect from a Switch Mini, and I guess we should probably start calling it a Switch Lite at this point, but I still prefer the name Switch Mini, to be honest. But anyway, what we expected and wanted from a Switch Lite, and this is essentially it, a Switch unit that's just one unit, kind of like a 3DS, but more like a Vita. You didn't have the removable Joy-Cons, because if you're making a smaller switch you can't really change the size of the joy cons and even at that point they're not really going to work or cooperate with anything other than the mini itself so it just made a lot more sense to streamline it and 
bing bang boom throw it into one unit that's what we expected some of the things we wanted was hey if you're doing this at least give it a better battery life and apparently they've done that too an extra 20 to 30 percent battery life on your games as you would expect since it's not having to power as much with all the features that have been removed but there they listened and it's, it's there and not only that a d-pad a d-pad not only is awesome and i know so many of us wanted this in general but the reason why the default switch never had a d-pad was because both joy cons are supposed to be uniform so that when you switch them on their side and play in two player games both of you are gaming on a level playing field you have the exact same joy con just you know switched on its side and if one person had a d-pad that could be an advantage or a disadvantage or it's just different but obviously removing the removable joy cons there's no reason to not throw a d-pad on this sucker and it has one and it looks I got off topic there because I'm extremely excited, but the point I was trying to make is, yeah, it was a little underwhelming when it was finally announced because it is everything we expected and it is everything we guessed it would be. We've even seen the thing without knowing it at some point, as well as a bunch of other leaks. And with all the smoke, we assumed there was a fire coming some point this year, so it's kind of just Nintendo coming out and confirming what we already knew. Maybe I shouldn't speak for everyone, but in my specific case, that, that was the case. I knew this thing was was coming. I pretty much knew this is what it was going to look like. The only thing that surprised me was the colors because I didn't know the colors. Oh, and this gorgeous Pokemon themed one, which is definitely going in my collection at some point. I'm going to have to get the normal one as well as this one because the Pokemon one releases in November, but the actual systems release in September and I can't wait two months. It's kind of my job to have this thing ASAP. So I'm going to end up with at least two mini switches. I know that already. And that... That's, that's stupid, <laughs> but it's gonna happen. And I'm not trying to be one of those negative people that I called out at the start of this video. I'm not saying the underwhelming announcement was in any way negative because what else could Nintendo do? It's not their fault. It's just for me personally, I saw it and I was like, finally, okay, let's go. <laughs> Now again, in this video I'm going to really quickly go through everything about this new Switch so you have all the information you need without having to go anywhere else. I'm going to get to that, so hang around, but first up, I want to talk about the thing that's most important to me, and it's something that they haven't confirmed yet, but Doug Bowser has pretty much confirmed it and it's really exciting earlier when i said if you already have a switch this isn't the model for you but i think for some people the switch mini could be perfect even if you already have a switch normal uh reason being this portable lightweight version is obviously much more akin to taking out of the house whereas my switch model is my baby it cost me 300 bucks i don't want to get it damaged i don't really want to take it portably all that much and i don't i mean when i do i gotta put it in a big hunking freaking case so that it doesn't get damaged and then I'm you're lugging that thing around. It's just a whole hubbub. That's not a word. But what would be really cool and a, and a little bit extra is if my Switch I have now could just kind of remain in the house, maybe remain in its dock at all times, and then my portable Switch be just that, my portable Switch when I'm playing in bed or leaving the house. Now here's the thing, for that to work efficiently in my opinion, you would need to have some kind of cloud save system in place so that if I'm playing Breath of the Wild on my TV switch and I want to pick up my portable switch I'm gonna want to continue on from my save file I'm not gonna want to start again and then throughout my entire switch library I don't want to have to try and remember which games I'm playing through on my mini and then which games I'm playing through on my normal because of save files obviously being localized to the console and I talked about this in one of my many mini switch rumor videos but cloud saves seem like a very obvious thing it's something that has already dabbled in they've already implemented in a few of their games just for the switch so having it so all of your save files get uploaded to the cloud as you play so as long as you're playing on your profile it doesn't matter what switch you're on it just remembers where you were at and again while they haven't confirmed that is going to be a feature on this new mini and with the switches Doug has said at the end of this article which I'll leave linked down below yes you will have the ability to transfer between devices your gameplay experiences more to come on there but that is the intention. Transfer your gaming experiences between devices. If that doesn't mean cloud save, and it literally just means taking your cart out from one,
one and playing that game in another one. That's a really weird way to word it and a weird thing to even say in general. Because I'll be honest, I think this little bad boy is cool anyway and I'm definitely gonna pick one or two of them up. But I would game on it so much less if all my current games I've been playing aren't transferable to this new one. I'm not starting all my games again. So sure, moving forward, the newer games that come out, I might pick one, two here or there that I wanna play only portable. And in that case, I may as well play on the Switch Lite. But if all my current saves and all my future saves on all Switch games are transferable and playable on both systems, <laughs> now you really have something. All right, ladies and germs, let's inspect the rest of these Switch specs to see what we can expect when this thing releases in September. <laughs> so obviously this thing is gonna be a lot lighter. It's been compared to the original Switch minus one Joy-Con. So it's about that in size and probably a, a little bit shorter. It's gonna be slimmer, meaning slimmer this way. Like the Switch went on a diet slimmer. The screen is 5.5 inches and still 720p. For anyone out there thinking to themselves, oh, they couldn't even have made it 1080p. That's not really even something that's worth doing because for a screen this size and now even smaller, 720 is more than enough. You ain't gonna see 1080. That's just gonna be a waste of power and battery life. And apparently, according to sources that have already played the Switch Lite, it actually, the screen actually does look a little bit crisper too. Probably because it's a little bit smaller and it's a newer screen. Kind of like with the 2DS XL models, how the colors went a little lighter. These Switch colors are pastel and they feel fresher. The lighter color makes them feel lighter, which this is a Switch Lite, so it makes a lot of sense. So the new model is obviously going to be cheaper at $200. And I think it's safe to say that this model is going to be the unofficial official like replacement from the 3DS. The only hope you have of a successor portable or a successor home console is after the this thing has run its course and we're in the next gen and Nintendo decides to move away from the hybrid and go back to doing them separately. But that won't happen until this thing is long gone and not supported anymore. So I honestly feel like a portable cheaper version of this, it just makes so much sense for the people that only like handheld systems like the 3DS. Like there is a whole market of people there that Pokemon Sword and Shield ain't, they're still not convincing them to buy this thing. They just don't care for it. And this is the system for them. Like if you're a 3DS fan and you think the 3DS has an insane library of games, you're literally buying into a handheld success so from the 3DS that already has an insane library of games and it's only gonna grow from here for the next two to three years. Internally, the Switch Lite is mostly the same as the current Switch. You have the 32 gigabytes of storage, the spot for a micro SD card, same volume button layout, a headphone jack, USB-C for charging. It has Wi-Fi, obviously, NFC reader, and you can still connect extra controllers. And now that is where things start to get a little bit dicey, a little bit weird, a little bit confusing. Nintendo tried to elaborate on it in their announcement video, but it's still a little tad bit confusing. So here's what I gathered. Obviously, there are certain games that just need the Joy-Cons to work. I don't think anyone's really chomping at the bit to play 1-2 Switch anymore, but still, it is a game that doesn't really kind of work on the handheld version, or a game that people will be more likely trying to play, Mario Party. So without the removable Joy-Cons, with them being like slammed into the side here, so you can still connect Joy-Cons to this thing, and you can still play the games using the Joy-Cons, but the Switch Lite, it doesn't have a kickstand, so either you're gonna have to have a friend hold it for you, or find a way to prop it up against something, or buy a, I'm sure they're gonna make third party devices for this, you can like get it 3D printed off Etsy, in fact, it's it's probably gonna open up a whole new world of Nintendo Switch accessory videos for me and Kim to make, which I'm just thinking about that now and yay. <laughs> and of course you could also play like Smash multiplayer this way. You could load it up on your Switch Lite and have your friends connect their Joy-Cons and you could all crowd around your Switch Lite as you're playing it and they could try and look over your shoulder to see their character. Again, it's all things you can do and I'm glad they included them. So it's not like it just straight up can't do these things. I just don't think that it's practical or really like the intended purpose of the Switch Mini. I mean, at $200, it's pretty much like just double the cost of buying Joy-Con separately on their own. Like this thing is pretty much just a expensive controller that happens to have a screen on it. So I see it being more useful in that Smash Brothers, you're out in public in handheld mode, smashing with friends situation as you, one of your friends already has the traditional Switch and everyone's kind of playing on that, gathered around that in tabletop mode and you just happen to have your Switch Mini and 
you get your own screen, which is much nicer than having to crowd around with everyone else, but you connect to it that way. Personally, I think that makes a lot more sense than everyone trying to crowd around my Switch Lite. But I mean, if you're gaming on a budget, if you're the older one in the family and all your siblings want to play Smash Brothers with you and all your family could grab what's the Switch Lite, I mean, it's an option and kids don't care. They'll find a way to make it work. And about all this negativity, I wanted to touch on it. If you already have a Switch and you love it and it's perfect for what you need, then a Switch Lite doesn't make any sense. I get that. Take the 200 and spend it on games, but that doesn't make the Switch Lite pointless or stupid or irrelevant or dumb or useless or any of the things I'm seeing these people say online. Like, you need to understand if you already have this product, you don't need another one. It's essentially like you owning a Nintendo Switch and then going to a GameStop and seeing the Switch you have already on the shelf and thinking, man, it's so dumb that Nintendo still stocks the Switch. I already have one. Why would I need another one? It does the same stuff mine already does. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need another one. You already have one. I don't think anyone needs a Switch Lite if they already have the normal Switch. Doesn't that just go without saying? Like, <laughs> Oh man, that logic is so weird to me. There are legitimately people out there that don't have a Switch yet. Like, believe it or not, while the Switch has sold 34 million units, that still leaves approximately like six and a half billion people that don't have a Switch yet. That's a lot of people that maybe haven't bought it because it's just too expensive. The amount of people saying this is a cash grab and Nintendo are just doing this for money. What for to start with? Yeah. A every company releasing a new product or a new line of a thing, it's absolutely for money. Like, wh like why would they? <laughs> it is absolutely for money. You know what I see is more of a cash grab than, an, than a whole new system that provides different features to a different market? It's something like the Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu Switches where they essentially just painted it a different color, threw the game in and charged a little bit more for it. This is manufacturing a whole new system in a whole new warehouse, whole new bits and pieces, like it's a lot more effort. It's not really a cash grab, it's a company trying to make money, sure, but it's also a company trying to make their system more accessible to everyone. And again, if for a lot of people that have a Switch, this thing might still have a purpose. I think that's less likely than someone not having a Switch at all. But me, myself, and Irene, great movie by the way, even if I wasn't doing this for a living and I felt like I had to go out and buy this thing regardless, I probably still would go out and grab it because I am in the market for a Switch that I can more easily take out of the house. I'm very excited. I think the thing looks friggin' adorable. It looks sleek, beautiful. I love the colors. I want that Pokemon one. I really want them to fit figure out cloud saves. And all up, you can obviously expect me to be making a video about this thing when it releases. Nintendo, if you're sending out review copies, hit me up. Even though I know you're not watching this. And I already sent you an email earlier today, so... There's a better chance I get a reply to that than this. <laughs> but that's just my thoughts, my opinions, and while they are very strong thoughts and opinions, they are still just mine, and I'm I'm not always right. Like, no one is 100% right all the time. I'm probably wrong more than I'm right. That's a lie, I'm, I'm right all the time. <laughs> but opinions are opinions, and these are just mine, so share yours down below. And everyone, be nice down below. Whatever your standpoint is, whatever your opinion is, it's Nintendo. It's, it's light, bubbly Nintendo, Pokemon, Mario, Zelda fun. Let's not take things all too seriously, and let's just get excited for a new Switch model. Unless you're not excited, and then just keep playing Switch. I don't care, as long as you're watching my videos, I honestly don't give a crap. <laughs> as long as you're smashing like, hair flipping all over that subscribe button. Button. I love you all. Very excited. I was supposed to have another video up today about eShop games worth buying So I'm probably gonna have to put that up tomorrow So um hit the notification bell so you don't miss it and please watch it because well, I mean it's obvious I made it and I want you to watch it. Okay. Bye <laughs>